Welcome to uh, Full Nut Review. Uh, Full Nut is the name of this particular screen for HP 41CX and CV and C, uh, where it doesn't have a corners, uh, but it's square corners. Okay, so uh, this is the HP 41CX version which ruled the rules about 30 years ago when I was studying structural engineering um, and uh, it had a predecessor uh, on which I spilled coffee unfortunately and um, uh, I bought this one to replace it because I so much liked it I liked this it has this particular feature uh, which is called the inverse pol uh, polish notation let's say you want to when you don't use parentheses and with with just uh, uh, four st memory slots or uh, stacks, you could do so any most complicated uh, uh, equation with the parentheses can be just like rolled through. You uh, by using this button enter, which is for uh, uh, reverse Polish notation. So, like for example, uh, one. And then you go enter, and then two, and enter, and three. Let's say now you want to go times. You multiply um, bottom reg register x with the next one up, which is y, six, and then you, for example, and you still have now uh, number one dropped down. So you want, for example, plus, and you get seven, and. Uh, Okay, uh, currently uh, calculator is set in engineering notation uh, and uh, CX version has a quite large uh, memory. So, but it has these uh, overlays which can be removed like uh, just by sliding this button and uh, uh, you get it in a much nicer form. This is a battery compartment. This is just a reminder for the functions. You have four slots, which you could extend here. Like I have a mat, one module, module, but you have a financial, statistical, navigational modules, and so on. Uh, what's beautiful about it is this click. Uh, you could maybe hear it. I absolutely adore that click. Um, because uh, I know that I clicked on the button uh, even if I'm not looking at it. So um, these overlays uh, serve mostly to confuse you. Uh, I use them to prevent dust from coming into the contact with the, uh, too much dust. It has a bad side that the dust somehow creeps under the screen and once it gets behind the screen there is no way to get it out, but otherwise you could program it. Uh, it's programmed in assembler, and I used to know how to do it. And uh, uh, when I find the manual for it, I'll uh, try to write a short piece of code. Um, you were able to have RS232 uh, connection from here, uh, so with that uh, you could get inputs from instruments and stuff like that. So. That's the intro. That's intro for this time, and uh, we'll do a bigger one when I learn how to program it again. Bye.